The footage from the following motion picture was recorded in standard definition between the years 2000 and 2003. In an effort to make the video easier to view on today's high definition monitors, we have reduced the size of the image within the video frame. We hope you enjoy the presentation. Finally! One of those pelicans actually tried to do something. You can make that. You can make that. Come on. Go right on his nose. You're gonna eat it. I knew he'd eat it if you got it in front of him. The only thing you're gonna have problems with are sharks. Get that thing to the boat. There's your shark getting them right now. Quick, get him to the boat. Get him to the boat! Pull up on him, pull up on him. Sure got him? Or is he wrapped in your... That's a big fish. Pull on that muff. See any sharks? No. Oh, nice fish! <laughs> Got him? Got him. Woo! Oh! Dude. How about that? Talking about 2008 mother run. That's what I'm talking about, baby. 2008, happy bait. Woo! <laughs> How about that? We're cruising, slow trolling on this pot of mullet right here on the beach. And I see these two fins. Uh, right right up on the shoreline and like right where the waves are breaking we're almost on the sand literally 
No, it's snook. So Jeff puts us right up on him. I tossed the mullet right in front of him. And bam, he ate it just like that. So that was my biggest snook today. Those you out there fishing with live bait, dead bait, but they're all natural baits. When you get a big fish up behind a natural bait, whether live or dead, it's very important that you feed him. Now when I mean feed him, let's say he's in the rigger. So the bait's in the rigger, he comes out of the rigger and he needs to be fed. What you want to do is you want to point the rod tip at him. As you're pointing the rod tip at him, you want to feed the fish. Give him like a three or four count. Now everybody out there is using circle hooks, right? Circle hooks. Everybody uses circle hooks nowadays. Well, you got to feed the fish when you're using circle hooks. After you feed the fish, that's a three or four count, then all I want you to do is point the rod right at the fish and start reeling. Not super fast, but fast. I'm Captain Jeff. I fish inshore, I fish offshore, and I do fishing videos. Welcome to this year's show, the Captain Jeff Show. Hello, it's Captain Jeff. Yeah, there's fish out there. Tarpon, when would you like to go? Second week in April on the 15th? Hell no, we can't go on the 15th. That's fashion week. I'd like to, I'd like to congratulate Lamont Jones this week for fishing with a 24-inch hog leg. You want to catch a big fish? Fish with your hog leg. 200-pound tarpon? Nice job, pal. All right, for all you tackle learns out there, pay attention because this is how you're going to be able to do something. Instead of tying a full bimini twist, why don't you just try a spider hitch? It's a real easy knot. You get your double line and the, and the strength is all there. It's a typical spider hitch. One, two, three. Come back through. Spread your knot out. And within 20 seconds, you have your spider hitch. This is your lead end, there's your spider hitch, and there's your double. From an emailer in Sarasota, Florida. Hey Captain Jeff, what if I can't get bait? Well if you can't get bait, what I'd suggest is go artificial. Check out your rattle traps, your skitter walks, maybe some rubber baits, but if you can't get bait, don't feel bad, most people can't. From an emailer in Twist, Arkansas. Hey Captain Jeff, on a lot of videos, we see you wishing people happy bait. What the hell is happy bait? Well, listen, most of the time, getting bait is a real struggle. You really got to work hard, and, you know, catching live bait's tough. And then there's a time of the year that's happy bait time. That's when anybody can get bait. Bring your salty dog cast net out there, get in the surf, and get you some bait. Happy bait, everybody. From an emailer named Carlos in Key Biscayne, Florida. Hey, Captain Jeff, what's the deal with everybody downgrading people on the forums over how they hold fish? Well, it's funny. You know, years ago, it was really cool to be into conservation and uh, to make sure that, the, you know, for the well-being of the fish, that the fish did okay. And now it's just gotten absolutely ridiculous. Some of the forums out there, you can't even hold a fish, catch a fish, show off a fish without some moron telling you how to do it. Listen, I know everybody works hard at catching their fish. Work hard at letting them go. Welcome back to the show. This is Captain Jeff, and we're going to be testing some things out in the research facility. This week the hot topic's been cobia. You see what I have here? This is what we call a rubber eel. The rubber eel is deadly for cobias. Now what you want to do is you want to take your 1-0 circle hook. You want to go through the bottom of the eel, out through the top, so it's like this. Now with the correct presentation, a cobia just won't turn it down. And once you got your rubber eel on, what you want to do is do an unhand toss. You want to let it sink. Give it a jerk in motion and let it sink. Jerk in motion and let it sink. You swim an eel. Thanks for tuning in to Captain Jeff's fishing show this week. Glad to have you. Look forward to having you next week. Hi, this is Captain Jeff and this is your hog leg report for the beginning of April. Woo! Have you seen Day of the Fish? Day of the Fish? I haven't seen it.